Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing who is your future soulmates? This is going to be really in depth. We're going to go into their zodiac sign, possibly what they look like, whatever kind of comes up with that. I also have a chart here that I'm going to be seeing how you'll meet them and things like that. So we're going to go really in depth and I also have lots of dice and things like that. So I also have what chakra you need to work on to kind of draw them in and what chakra they're working on, that sort of thing. So let's get started. We have group number one with the red jasper, group number two with the selenite, group number three with the aquamarine and group number four with the smoky quartz. So please choose your group now and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you in terms of your future partner. So let's start off with the crystal cards. So we have red jasper, take action. And the next one we have is Chrysopras, allow yourself to receive. All right, so I feel like for the sort of person who has chosen this group, being the person who's watching this now, I feel like you are somebody who is quite passive. And I mean passive in the, in the most beautiful way. Um, I mean in the sense that maybe you need to start putting yourself forward more. And it doesn't have to mean that like get yourself out there like that's not easy advice. Like, that's not advice that's like, you know, what is getting out there there's no actual answer for that so I feel like the best thing for you to do is to really figure out is there anything that I'm putting off out of fear is there anything that I'm putting off out of fear because that may lead you to your soulmate okay and I feel like the same for your person I feel like your person is more of the action taker if you're more of the action taker I feel like it'll be the other way around okay so one of you in the relationship is going to be the action taker and when I say action taker I mean somebody who's more kind of extroverted or someone who's more dominant okay for you guys though I feel like you may be the ones who um may be the more passive as we ha do have allow yourself to receive so allow yourself to receive this person and let them in allow yourself to know that you will attract somebody who is meant for you who is who is worth it who is ready for you who wants to be with you that sort of thing okay and understand that that will happen for you and Red Jasper is a very, very sexual energy, so I do feel like you will attract somebody who is very sexually connected to you. We then have Birth. So, massive new start for you guys, massive new start for the both of you, and I definitely feel like this is going to be a massive kind of rejuvenation of yourself. So I think you're going to be a brand new person when you meet this person. I think you're going to be someone who is brand new, who is has worked on themselves, who've recognised patterns and things like that. Okay, so we have TikTok. So I definitely feel like for you, with this energy, I definitely feel like you're working on divine timing. You're working on being okay with not knowing when this person is coming in, but they will come in. And also, you are birthing something new. So just you just need to take your time with this. And with all the things I'm saying, this is your person feeling those things as well. This is your person feeling the birth of this new start. And they'll be feeling that they want to meet you as well and they're wanting to kind of rush it, you know? Maybe one of you is more slower, one of you is more faster in terms of communication. So basically one of you, as I say, will be more the dominant one, one of you will be more of the passive one. Um, but I think that'll be a really, really good balance. It's that beautiful balance of like the yin and the yang. It's almost like we've got the, one of you works more with your root and one of you works more with your heart chakra. All right, so let's see more about this person. Let's see about their qualities and things like that. Let's see what sort of person they are. So we have the Three of Cups, King of Cups, beautiful, Temperance, and then we also have the Hierophant. All right, so, so with this energy, I feel like this person's very gentle. They are assertive, but they are also very gentle. Um, this Temperance card always reminds me of Jeffree Star. I don't know why, <laughs> but it really does. Um, and the Three of Cups is somebody who is very into their friendships. So this person's going to be possibly around their friendships when you meet them. Um, I think they may be around like a friendship group, that sort of thing. There's somebody who's possibly going to be a fire sign or a water sign. Water sign here really, really strongly. I've got a masculine water sign. Um, somebody who could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have here as well the Hierophant. So it's going to be somebody... I love how we have the Temperance and the Hierophant. Very, very, very strong energies. So this person's very spiritual. You can tell that they work to themselves. We have the Hierophant as well. So it's somebody who's very, almost like a Buddha um, um, energy that I'm feeling. Somebody who's very connected to spiritual realm. Somebody who works with the masculine and the feminine. We have the sun and the moon. Sun being the masculine, moon being the feminine. 
Also, you may, may have masculine and feminine uh, kind of sun and moon. So maybe you have more of like a Leo sun, Pisces moon, because that's quite uh, masculine and feminine, because obviously you've got the masculine of the sun and the Pisces of the water. Um, but yeah, that could be you or that could be both of you together. You know, it could be like a swap. Maybe he has sun moon, you have sun you know, sun, <laughs> maybe you have Leo sun and maybe they have Leo moon, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I do feel like this person's really, really worked on themselves. I think they're very gentle. I think they're very easygoing. They're somebody who, they give me like a Jack Johnson vibe. I don't know if you know who Jack Johnson is, but he's a really, really like talented acoustic singer who lives in Hawaii. He's like so chill. He's just so nice. You can just imagine him being like the nicest guy. So I think he's going to be very mature. Um, if you want a female, obviously that's that's for you as well. When I say he, I am talking about, you know, whoever you're attracted to. Um, gender, <coughs> excuse me, gender neutral. So with the Three of Cups, this person is divinely guided to you. Can you see how they're looking up at the stars? It's like everything is divine timing and everything is just chill. You know, it's fine. Everything's going to be fine. And maybe you're talking with your friends about how you really want to meet someone. Maybe you're in a group of three as well. But also you may have your girlfriends around you kind of like helping you and saying you will meet your you will meet your person you know and I do feel like it's suddenly it's suddenly you will meet them because it's almost like three of cups king of cups like boom you know it's like suddenly meeting them and this is really really strong I feel like this is somebody who's just very in their emotions they're really really good at handling their emotions may kind of get a little bit overwhelmed depending on how um how watery their chart is but they are learning to kind of balance that out to kind of learn okay it's okay not to project my emotions onto other people. All right, so let's see what else we have. We have empowerment. Oops, sorry guys. We have the sixth house, and then we also have Taurus. So somebody who's quite slow in their approach. I do feel like they're quite like, they have a lot of like dominance, but they're also very slow in it. So that is very Taurus energy. It's very like uh, all, for all or nothing kind of thing. So I feel like you can meet this person through work. Work seems very, very important, or it could be something to do with your well-being you could be improving your diet when you meet this person so this person could be into fitness as well there's somebody who could also be into crystals and herbs and things like that they do like an alternative life I'm feeling like vegan or vegetarian or they may even live in like a teepee or something I don't know it depends I'm hearing like an ashram I don't actually know what an ashram is um let me just google it I kind of know but I'm I'm kind of a bit lost so let me just google that ashram Traditionally, an ashram is a spiritual hermitage or a monastery of Indian religions. So they could live in somewhere like that. I mean, for some of you guys, you could meet them even on like a spiritual retreat or something. It definitely feels like, or they could have been on like a lot of spiritual retreats and they possibly talked to you about that. But I definitely feel like this person is just really, really gentle, very spiritual, very kind, very mature. And yeah, I really, really like this person. So let's see what number you should be looking out for in terms of meeting this person number one beautiful so birth restart new start you know all that sort of jazz all right so uh what do you want to do next let's have a look at how you'll meet them in more in depth so i have a chart here with every single uh house with all the meanings and then i'm going to grab my dice i'm just going to see route number one how will they meet their person give me some information on this relationship all right so Okay, so we have Saturn in the first house. So this is really, really interesting. We have the fourth house on the sixth house and we also have Scorpio. So with Scorpio in the fourth house, this would mean this person is very, very attached to their home. Their home could be this, the place that they, that you guys do some intimate things. You guys love each other's bodies, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with the fourth house and the sixth house, it means this person might work from home. Um, they might have a home business. They might have their own business. Um, Saturn in the first house is self-appearance is the body, you know, that sort of thing, the, the thing that people see first. This person's very determined. They're very, the sort of person who probably looks quite serious on the outside, but on the inside, they're really gentle as well. Um, there's somebody who will tend to your body in different ways. So they might tend to your body in like a more health regime way. They might think, okay, maybe we need to spruce up our diet. Maybe we need to eat more healthier. 
um, because they will eat healthier and it'll kind of like influence you. But also I feel like their identity is very, very disciplined. So I feel like when they have, they have very strong rules about things. And with Scorpio here as well, Scorpios are, can be quite serious people, uh, me included, hi. Um, <laughs> but um, Saturn is like somebody who likes the rules, you know, they like to kind of not bend the rules. They're very like, okay, this is the rules, this is how it is. And if you have Saturday strongly anywhere in your chart, check that out because maybe that'll give you some advice on kind of what your life is going to be like in terms of where your Saturn placement is. You might even have Saturn in your first house. Uh, this person may even have Saturn in their first house as well. Alrighty. So let's have a look and see about this person and what they look like. So possible eye colour blue or green, lovely. Possible hair colour, ginger. I get ginger a lot. It's not, I don't feel, I don't actually meet that many gingers and maybe it's just because where I've lived, but I feel like ginger comes out a lot. Maybe it's the colour brown as well. Okay, when will you meet this person? We have one to three months. So some of you guys, it could be really soon. Some of you guys, obviously it's going to be variable. Could be like, like six months, a year, that sort of thing. And how will you meet them? At work, yeah, as I said, definitely at work. Um, all right, so let's have a look at your, um, the chakra, and let's see uh, what chakra they're working on and what chakra you're working on. So what chakra are, let's do you first. So what chakra are you working on right now? All right, that dropped right to the flower. Get on the flower. Okay, we have the throat chakra, Amazonite. Creativity. Use creativity to transfer your pain into positivity. So you're working on your throat chakra. What chakra are they working on? Okay, so they're balancing quite a few of their chakras. So we have green, jasper, turquoise and labradorite. So this would probably be a heart chakra, throat and third eye. Okay, so they've got quite a bit of uh, chakras they've got going on. Let's pull a couple more. One more for you. We have confidence, beautiful, solar plexus, and then let's have a look at their chakra. Journey, oh, I love that. To enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. That is exactly what I feel like with that TikTok card. Um, a sacral chakra, red aventurine, that is beautiful. So this person's really working on a lot of their chakras. Um, they're learning to just really balance it out, and we have fertility. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And we had, we had birth at the start. So I really, really love that. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out any of my crystal jewelry or crystals or my crystal shop, please do. The information is down below. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who your future soulmate is. So we have Selenite, clear the clutter. All right, let's have a look at the other crystal card. We have Lepidolite, recall your dreams. So this is gonna be the overall energy for both of you. So I feel like both of you are clearing out the clutter. Both of you are possibly finding each other in each other's dreams, either one of you. I feel like one of you is taller and one of you is smaller because I feel like we've got a really long stick of selenite here and then we've got like a smaller crystal. So I feel like one of you is smaller, one of, oh, sorry, one of you is taller, one of you is smaller. So I feel like for this group here, this is kind of showing me that you guys are both of you are going to find each other in your dreams. If not in your dreams, it'll be more to do with like you'll find signs in the waking day. You know, you'll find signs in the waking day and you're clearing out the clutter. A lot of you guys are going to be clearing out a lot of clutter to do with like physical clutter, like clearing out your wardrobe, clearing out your house, uh, decorating, doing some DIY, that sort of thing. And recall your dreams. Lepidolite is a very good crystal for anxiety. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be feeling some bouts of anxiety. That is completely normal. We're all going through an extremely deep transformational process right now. So just keep that in mind that anxiety is kind of normal and it's how you process it. And I also have an emotional fitness video on this, which is super, super helpful. Honestly, it's really helped my life. So I will uh, link it down below. It's extremely helpful. I can't, I can't talk about it enough. Okay. Right. So we have pleasure. Yes. We love, we love. Okay. And we also have chopwood. All right, so it's funny because every time I get this card, I'm like, ugh, <laughs> I don't like this card. It's a very boring card. I don't like the message. And that may be why we have clear out the clutter though. I feel like for this, this card always reminds me of just boring things. 
I feel like it's very boring. Maybe life is boring for you right now. Maybe life is slow, repetitive, uh, very dull. But actually, if you can find pleasure in that, it's going to be really beautiful. And also, you're not going to be in this for much longer. You're not going to be in this for much longer. You're going to be really kind of um, in the element of pleasure. You're going to be really feeling that pleasure and feeling really happy. And you're going to feel so much sensual energy with your person. This person is going to be really sensual with you. They're going to make the boring really, really interesting, okay? And as I say, when you're clearing out the clutter, you're removing all of that negative energy from your life. You're clearing it out and getting that feng shui moving. So I do feel like you're really gonna get that within your life, okay? So let's see what else. Let's see what personality traits this person possesses. We have the Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So it's funny, in the first group we had the King of Cups, and now in this group we have the Queen of Cups. So for a lot of you guys, you could be uh, wanted to attract a female and the last group may have wanted to attract a male, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, as I say, it's gender neutral, but sometimes I may pick up on that certain thing. I feel like you guys, the more you kind of chill with your own energy and kind of be like, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to um, see how I am, you know, I'm just going to be with myself. That is the best energy that you want to be in, that self-love energy. She's completely immersed herself, you know. She's just like surrendering. She's got her hands up. She's surrendering to the water. She's surrendering to her emotions. So oh, I like that, I like that. So I do feel like with this energy, this person who you're gonna meet, maybe an actor, actress, singer, dancer, somebody who is on stage a lot. Uh, they could be somebody who is well-known in the public eye, but also they're just really, really successful. I feel like they're gonna be very successful when you meet them. There's somebody who concentrates quite a lot on their money, somebody who is very much invested in their money. And someone who really likes to, they can't really sit still a lot. I feel very like, I feel like I can't sit still in this group. Like I keep fidgeting. So I feel like this person likes yoga. They need to kind of chill a bit though. They need to meditate more because I feel like this person has quite high uh, tendencies of just going and moving lots of different places. Um, with this page of pentacles, it's showing me that this person is going to be really in touch with their, uh, I'm hearing feminine side. Um... It depends. Some of you are going to be more in touch with their feminine. Some of you are going to be in touch with their masculine. It depends. Obviously, this is a general reading. Um, this person's really driven. They're very, very driven. They might actually physically are driven like by cars. They like to be driven in a car. So maybe they actually have enough money to have their own, like, I'm not like, maybe their own driver. But I feel like they possibly get taxis a lot, things like that. I feel like they could work in a city. They live in a city. But they are very neutral. They're saying they're very neutral. What does that mean? They're just really calm and they're very spiritual. So in like a busy town, they would be the sort of person that you would think, oh, that's just like, you know, a normal, I'm hearing a town dweller. <laughs> These words that are coming out from spirit today are crazy. A town dweller. Okay, so you may think, oh, they're just somebody from a town, you know, they're kind of boring, you know, casual. No, underneath all of that, boom, they have this like sexual, gorgeous, spiritual side. I didn't actually mean to say sexual, but I meant to say spiritual, but there we go, that's absolutely beautiful. So, okay, so we also have Gemini, which is lovely. So really good at communicating. Somebody who is very, very, I feel like they are quite famous. They could have quite a high prestigious job. Well, there's somebody who is, as I say, quite well known. With surrender, this is basically showing me that both of you need to kind of surrender to this relationship in terms of like, just let it go. You know, you guys are really kind of, um, sorry if you guys, you can hear noises next door. <laughs> if you can, I'm sorry. Um, I feel like with this, it's basically, you're going for a lot of healing. And with these roses, look out for pink roses, look out for water. Water is like in a significant way. I feel like water is really significant for this relationship. So you could be meeting a uh, water sign. You could be meeting a fire sign. I feel like it could be a uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, also a Gemini here as well. But I feel like this is very water, kind of air and water related. This person's gonna be really passionate of you though. It could be a fire sign as well. This person, you're going to have so much fun with them. They're going to be, you're going to completely surrender to this, to, to them. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like this person is just really, really gentle and really kind. And there's somebody who, that you both have been through a lot in your love life. I feel like you both you've been through a lot in your relationships. And now is the time to really kind of get into this relationship. Now you're ready to surrender to this relationship and ready to start something new. And your, uh, your life path number could be number five as well. Um very creative, very transformative um, life. And I love how we have vocal, and I said about a singer or a dancer or a musician, somebody who 
possibly is quite connected to their musical side, their creative side. All right, let's get a number. What number should group number two look out for? We have group number group number four. We have number four, so stable, which is really, really beautiful. Stable, someone who loves the home and things like that. Let's have a look at your person. I have a birth chart here with all the um, houses in. And we're gonna see what sort of chart this person has. So tell me about group number two's person, please. All right, I knew we'd get number one. So because we had number 12 with surrender, we now have number one. So now we, you've surrendered and now you've kind of let it go, let it go into the ether, say it's okay, I'm gonna let the universe sort it out. Now we have this beautiful relationship here, very passionate, Leo is somebody who they kind of are quite assertive. Uh, we have Neptune in the seventh and the eighth house. So Neptune in relationships and the eighth house. Eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio is intimate. Scorpio is somebody who really likes to go deep and I know because I'm a Scorpio myself. So somebody who likes to go deep, somebody who really likes to ask a lot of questions and somebody who will constantly be analysing the relationship but in a really beautiful way to kind of make sure that you're both on the same page. Very kind of like, um, yeah, beautiful. And then we also have Neptune. So Neptune being the seventh and the eighth means somebody is very um, connected to the deep, I would say the deeper parts of the relationship. And did we have, what did we have for this group? Because we had dreams. I don't know if we had it for this group. Where was I seeing dreams? Oh, there we go. Recall your dreams. So I feel like, yeah, Neptune is about dreams. So I feel like this is going to come through really, really strongly. Okay, beautiful, guys. Okay. So how will you meet this person? A concert or a pub? That's funny because we literally have like a concert here. So definitely something to do with music. Hair colour and eye colour, black hair colour and bluey green eyes, beautiful, I love that, that is so cute. Concert or a pub doesn't have to be literally a concert or a pub, it can just be like a, a big space or a place where there's lots of people, it could even be like a park or something. Okay, so it's saying you can meet this person in one to four weeks, that's really soon. Some of you could, could be a little bit later, I'm here about six months, um, but yeah, I do feel like they're coming in quick. All right, so let's see what chakra you're working on. I really want this one. Manifestation, beautiful. So you're working on your solar plexus, topaz. So you're working on your confidence. You're working on a possible anxiety, mental health issues, that sort of thing. You're working on your safety. What is that? What are they working on? And you're working on manifesting as well. You're working on your self-worth. And they're working on their sacral chakra, fertility. They're working on possibly their intimate side, their more deeper side, the side that not many people get to see. And it says, let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation. And both of you are working on your sacral chakra together. So that's really, really beautiful. A lot of kind of light energy. So that is your reading, guys. If you want to get a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to get any crystals or crystal jewellery, all my information is down below to my crystal store. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see who your future partner is. So let's have a look. So the first card we have is Aquamarine. So this says go with the flow. So like it says, go with the flow. Okay. And then we also have Black Tourmaline, protect your energy. So I'm looking into getting some Black Onyx jewellery into my shop because Black Tourmaline and Black Onyx are so, 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 so strongly coming up at the moment. And it's because we need to protect our energy from all this transformation and things going on. And we're going to feel much more sensitive at the moment because of the energy changes. So we're going to need to protect our own energy and not to kind of suck up other people's energy like a sponge, especially if you're an empath. So with this energy here, I feel like for you guys, if you're around somebody who's really negative, it's time to let that person go or it's time to let that person not be in your space so much. And it could be a friend. It could be somebody who's constantly occupying your mind. But if it's somebody who's draining your energy, who's negative, who is bringing you down and is pushing you away, far further away from who you are, and they don't accept you for who you are, protect your energy from that. It could be somebody at work, so possibly get yourself some black tourmaline. And if you ever want a personalised crystal recommendation bracelet, I can make you a black tourmaline bracelet. These are the sort of bracelets I make, so if you would like one, then uh, I will link my shop down below. Uh, but we also have aquamarine here. So aquamarine is a really beautiful crystal. It's very much about easy going, very gentle, very supportive, very supportive of kind of energy changes. So that we have this kind of energy here and this one is showing me that this person coming in, the advice for you guys is just to go with the flow. Focus on yourself, 
focus on your own energy, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see what else. Insight. And we also have community. So you can meet this person through a community. It could be through a group of three friends. Um, it could be a group of people who really kind of are on your wavelengths. People who are very spiritual. And I feel like for you guys, it's a group of people who just really, really get you, you know. And the community here is showing me that you're going to find a group of people who are really on your wavelength. It could even be online, it doesn't have to be in person. It could be online as well, but it could be you are starting a community uh, online or you're starting a community in, you know, the real world. Or it possibly could be that you're getting quite a few animals as well. This person could have quite a few animals or this person could be really connected to the earth and animals. You guys are going to get massive insight on your person. You're going to get downloads, I feel. You're going to feel connected. When you start feeling connected to th more things, when you start feeling more in the flow, that's when you're going to meet your person because you're really kind of getting in that energy. And this insight energy is showing me there's nothing to worry about. Everything's going to happen in divine timing. You're not going to miss out. You may feel like you are, but you're not going to miss out. And you really are, are nurturing your inner child. So if you're not nurturing your inner child, uh, nurture that. And we also have nine and three, which is 12. And then that's three. So number three is really, really strong here. And we have number eight. So your life path number could be three or eight. I do feel like for you guys, um, connecting with animals is really important. Giraffes could be a kind of symbolism. They're normally a symbolism of kind of looking, of looking at things from a distance because they're obviously quite high up. So I do feel like for you guys, it's kind of stepping back from the situation knowing you will attract your person. They are coming in. It's just going with the flight of nine. They will come in at the right time. <clears throat> it's not going to be anything that you're forcing. All right, so let's have a look at your person. Let's have a look at their kind of like qualities and things like that. So we have the five of cups. We have the six of cups and we have the high priestess. So very, very spiritual energy. Someone who is highly, highly, highly intuitive. You could be the highly intuitive one as well. Or both you could be. I feel like the five of cups is showing me there's definitely an energy with this protect your energy here. It's really, really moving away from people who no longer serve you. I feel like you guys have already done that. Or if you haven't already done that, it's a symbol to kind of do that um, when you feel like you can. Because I feel like there's definitely energy of that kind of child energy coming in. It's really, it's really supporting your childlike energy. And with the Six of Cups, this is really showing me that this person is probably from a past life. This person is somebody who is very gentle, very nurturing. And there's somebody who just understand you. When when you meet them, you're most likely just understand each other like like that, like straight away. And the high priestess here is showing me that you're really gonna be connected to the moon on this when this when you meet this person. The moon may be quite significant, and you're possibly gonna get downloads when you meet this person or downloads before you meet them. So you'll know that this is the right person. You may even get in intuitive dreams about them as well. And this person is going to be, most likely has gone through quite a lot of heartbreak and so maybe so have you. But I feel like you, I feel like a lot of you guys are already in the Six of Cups energy where you're just, you're just waiting for your person, you know, you're moving on. And you're really focusing on, okay, what actually really suits me. Runes could be quite a significant thing for you as well. I'm getting like the runes here as well. And her hair, I feel like, I don't know if you guys have like ginger hair or brown hair or like different colours in your hair. But I feel like that's coming through really strongly. Whoa. Okay, that's really strange. It's suddenly gone really bright in my camera. That's really weird. Let me just... Oh, okay, it's fine. That was just, that was definitely spirits because no lighting has changed in this room. All right, thanks, spirits. Okay, a sign that they're going to lighten your life. Okay, so we have opposition balance. Sorry, guys, I don't know how light that's been, so I haven't been looking at the uh, viewfinder, so hopefully it's been okay and you've been able to see what I'm doing. All right. You guys are the change makers, okay? You guys have a very in-depth, like, intense reading. So if you guys, you could be quite an intense, you can have, could have quite an intense personality where you are very deep, very intuitive, uh, most likely a fixed sign or most likely somebody who is just very in, in tune with their emotions. This person's going to help you balance out your love life. Your love life's going to be completely balanced out and this person's going to bring, like, a massive revolution to you, a massive revolution. So we do have a challenge here. And I want to kind of know what this is. I like the word works out. I feel like this is going to work out. I feel like your love life has been a massive challenge for you. And I feel like this person is going to really kind of bring a revolution. There's somebody who thinks outside the box. There's somebody who really kind of helps you to tune in with your own energy. It really helps you to um, be very just gentle. You know, I feel like there's somebody who takes things slowly. And that's okay. I want to get a couple more tarot cards for you guys. Get a bit more in depth for you. Tell me more about this person. Definitely gone through, <clears throat> definitely gone through a lot of heartbreak. 
This is weird. I'm seeing a Barbie in a Barbie dream house. I don't know why, so just keep that in mind. I'm seeing like Barbie and Ken. Yeah, we have the moon, we have the three of pentacles. So you can meet them through a friendship group, as say a community. Um, yeah, ma magical brand new start for you guys. And it may be a challenge to get to to get to um, be vulnerable with this person. That may be the challenge, but I feel like this person you could also meet through work. Somebody who's a very kind of, um, very determined, they're very determined to be you. And I feel like this person is also very much connected to their uh, sensual side as well, which is lovely. We love that, we love. Okay, what number should you be looking out for? Number five, so very, very spiritual connection, uh, a lot of change. This person's gonna bring a gigantic change. I see like a water balloon and it's popping. Like you've held this water balloon for so long and it's like, oh, I can't hold it anymore. And then a universe comes along, pops it, boom, all these emotions come out, all this brand new start comes in. Rush of emotions, I'm hearing. All right, so let's have a look at your person. I have my birth chart here. Not my birth chart, but I have a chart here with all the different houses in. And um, we're gonna see more about this person, this connection. Tell me about more about this relationship that group three are having. Wow, that's a lot of ninth house. Okay, so we have the moon in the ninth house, we have Aquarius and we just have the first house. This person's gonna, okay, just to put it obviously, this person's gonna really love travel, okay? They're gonna be very wise, very, as I say, they look at things at a larger picture. So they may have quite a bit of Sag or Aquarius in their chart. And um, there's somebody who is um, quite a dreamer. There's somebody who likes to dream big. They're not somebody who kind of likes to sit on the sidelines and just chill. There's somebody who will just, who will really be determined to meet you. They'll really kind of think, actually, is there anything we can do to improve this relationship, that sort of thing. And they may uh, work in higher education. They may work as a teacher. They may be somebody who is a teacher, like just generally, they might be a very spiritual teacher. Uh, their moon could be the ninth house as well, which means they're very attracted to travel. They're very attracted to different cultures. So you may both have be from a different culture, different country, different state even a different town, you know? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you both are just gonna be really interested in each other's lives. I think you have a very, very strong connection to your past lives. I feel like you guys, in a past life, I feel like you guys may have been in two different tribes and you may have like been thinking, no, I can't be with this person because they're in a different tribe. Uh, but actually now it's like your karma has been rewritten. And instead of different tribes, you're in like different countries, you know? So it feels like there's definitely an element of we're so far away, but we're gonna meet. And the Aquarius energy is very kind of like um, someone who analyzes, someone who looks into things quite deeply and someone who really looks at things from a different perspective, like a far away perspective. So I don't feel like this person is gonna be a sort of person who overrules their emotions. They're gonna be quite slow with their emotions, but they're gonna be really good with them. They're gonna analyze them and they're gonna like, yeah, it's just gonna be very healthy. Alrighty. So let's have a look at your person in depth and let's see uh, their hair color, possible hair color. We have brown, possible eye color. Knew it was gonna be blue. I was like, I was gonna say blue. I was like, no, I'm not gonna say it. All right, how will you meet this person? At work, that's what I was feeling. And how, uh, well, sorry, when will you meet them? One to four weeks, beautiful. So it can be longer. I feel like for you guys, that's much longer. I feel like for those of you who are around 20-ish, I feel like one to four weeks. I feel, <clears throat> especially if you have a birthday soon, they're saying, especially if you have a birthday soon. All right, but for some of you guys, obviously it's gonna vary as it is a general reading. So what chakra, oh, that was quick. What chakra are you working on? You're working on your heart chakra. Are you working on your connection to possibly your mother, your father? Also with, um, with the earth as well, you're learning to really open your heart and let people in. Let's see what else you're working on. Oneness, crown chakra, you are part of the universe and will always and always will be. So you're connected to your crown chakra, you're connected to the higher realms, you're, connect, you're uh, becoming more of that spiritual person where you're very much letting yourself go. So this is your person's chakra. What chakra is your person working on? I like these two. All right, so we have grounding root chakra. And then we also have solar plexus. So I love how completely different these two are. Like both of you are working on pretty much the opposite chakras, which is really lovely. And obviously they're not opposite, they are. They are all connected. Um, but I feel like this person's working on more of like a physical element and you are working more of like an emotional element. Uh, obviously it could be the other way around, whatever you feel fits. And both of you are working on strengthening your connection to your root, strengthening your connection to 
being more grounded, not overthinking too much, knowing that everything's going to come in divine timing and everything's going to be okay. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And if you want to uh, get a private reading, all my information is down below. And I also have my crystal shop down below as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, greeting before. Let's see who your future soulmate is and let's see what we need to know. So starting off with the first card is Smoky Quartz. So we have Let It Go. I love Smoky Quartz. It's a really beautiful crystal. And then we also have Amazonite. Loosen your grip. So Amazonite is actually a really beautiful crystal because it's very much to do with the masculine and the feminine. So both of you are going to be balancing your masculine and feminine before meeting each other. And also you're going to be able to let go of the relationship before it comes in, which is really, really beautiful. Both of you need to, it's funny how we have let it go and loosen your grip. That's literally the same thing. It's like, let it go. And it's so funny how I was literally watching a, a Big Bang episode. And if you ever heard of the Big Bang, it's basically just like a, com a, a comedy show. And basically the, uh, one of the characters will explain to another character to say like, imagine a pen, like if you're really stressed out, like imagine a pen and put all your emotions into it and then let it go, like that sort of thing. And this person, this character couldn't let it go. They were like, I don't want to I have like an attachment to it. So it's that sort of thing of like letting it go and knowing that you can do that. And if you want any emotional uh, fitness uh, advice or coaching, if you want some help letting this energy move through, which is a very healthy way of, um, a healthy way of approaching your emotions, then uh, I will link down my emotional coaching video down below. It's really easy, 20 seconds, so, so simple. Um, and it's very, very uh, helpful as well. So with this smoky quartz, smoky quartz is very supportive. It's I have it actually in my anxiety uh, crystal kit, sell in my shop down below. Very, very beautiful crystal. It's like really supportive. It's really good at helping you to just kind of be in that energy of like, I feel safe right now. So I feel like with this uh, with this group, I feel like you're learning to just let go and know that everything's gonna happen for a reason. I feel like for you guys, you're learning to just work with the earth as well. You might be planting seeds, literally physically but I feel like emotionally you're planting seeds as well you're getting ready for your person you know so all you need to do is just loosen your grip let it go and it's going to be a-okay all right so the next cards we have is connection the earth beautiful that's literally what I said and fork in the road so definitely a lot of green and, and brown for this group so you may feel like nothing is happening you may feel like you're completely deserted you're kind of really just in nothingness okay this is kind of reminding me of Alice in Wonderland where we get like the Cheshire cat and he's talking to her and she, he's just really confusing her. And I feel like this is your ego. If your ego confusing you, like you're never going to get anyone, you know, that's not going to happen. You will find somebody and it's just getting yourself connected, like knowing that just working on yourself, working on what you're really passionate about. And this person will come in and they're really earthy. I feel like they definitely have a connection to the earth. I feel like this person could be, I feel like for some reason I'm hearing the stone age or stonehenge something to do with that, I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's coming through, this person might work with stone, they might like create stone figures, or I don't know, anything to do with stone, they're very arty though, I feel like they're someone who's very arty, very spiritual, very earthy as well, but this fork in the road is going to be no more, the more you connect to the earth, the more you connect with yourself, this fork in the road is just going to be nothingness, it's going to just completely fade, loosen your grip and knowing that it's going to be okay, and you may feel like you're in between right now, but you will, you will find that right, correct route, it's just literally just in this stalling pause phase, which is very much like, um, as I was saying on my live stream the other day, I was saying that, um, I was talking to one of my family members and she was saying that 20, 2020 is literally like the 2012, where a lot of people said that 2012 is like the end of the world, it's like nothing's gonna happen. Like, psychics had a really hard time figuring out what was gonna happen after 2012. Like, they couldn't actually pick up on a lot of things because there was literally like nothingness. And that's literally what I feel like is happening with 2020, is like 2020 is the new 2012. You know, when nothing really is happening, but actually we're just preparing ourselves emotionally. And that's what I feel like is going on. So now, and, and when we prepare ourselves, when we let everything go, we're, we're having space for the new stuff. And I think that's definitely what we're both, what we're all doing in this, in this group, okay? So when I say we're all doing, I'm not, I'm not in this group, but it's like me saying, because when I connect to this, a person's group, when I connect to a certain group, I connect to that energy and I almost inhabit that energy, okay? So we have, ooh, King of Wands, sexual, we love. Alrighty. As soon as that card came out, I got really, really hot. <laughs> so whenever I get really hot in a love reading, especially in a love reading, it's showing me that when you meet this person, that's probably gonna be your reaction. You're probably gonna be really hot, kind of nervous. Um, you've worked really, really hard. I'm seeing you've worked really hard on your finances. You are working hard on your finances. 
And for this person, they're gonna be so good intellectually. They're gonna intellectually stimulate you. They're gonna emotionally stimulate you. They're gonna stimulate you on every single level. And I'm talking every single level, okay guys? So I feel like this person is very, very, very connected to their sexual energy. And with this energy here, it's showing me that this person, I feel like this person could be a fire sign or an earth sign. I feel like that really, really strongly. Obviously it could be other signs as well, but that's kind of what I'm picking up on right now. It could also be air. Um, pretty much all the signs, but I feel like this person's mainly could be a fire sign they or they inha inhabit a fire or inhabit a fire sign. So like they may have like fire rising, like Leo, Aries or Sagittarius rising um, or Mars. I feel like this person also is very determined. Like when they see you, they'll they'll see you, you know, they won't ignore you. They'll be right there with you. They'll be wanting to start this relationship with you and they'll be like, do you know what? I've waited so long for you. And you'll be like, I've waited so long for you. And you're gonna be like, oh my God. <laughs> um, with this nine of pentacles, it showed me that you've really worked hard. Both of you work really hard and this person works hard for their money, you know, and they're really determined. Like they're quite a serious person as well. So when they get into something, they, they get into it. So they possibly could be a fixed sign, Leo. Uh, Leo, um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and what's the other one I'm missing? Taurus. Oh my God, that completely went out of my brain. <laughs> All right, so this person is definitely going to be one of possibly going to be one of those signs. Uh, possibly look out for ravens or blackbirds. It could be a very big sign for you. Uh, this person's going to open your mind. They're going to stimulate your mind. They're going to help you to open up how you really feel about things, and they're going to really like be an amazing communicator. All right, let's see what else. Capricorn. Uh, Queen Kunk's complexity, and we also have seven house relationships. So Capricorn, as I say, works half of their money. Capricorn is a lot to do with money. Um, I pick it up on as a lot to do with money. And with this Queen Kunk's complexity, this is showing me this person is very, very intelligent. They, as I say, they stimulate your mind. They will be really into possibly aliens. They're very intelligent with mixing things. So there's possibly somebody who likes creating things, like I said, like the Stone Age, like. Um, somebody who makes things they're just really really intelligent they could be in education um, they could like be somebody who teaches you, you could meet this person through education so if you're in school college or uni that could be how you meet them as well but I feel like for you guys this group I feel like is more in the 20s like I feel like if you're in the 20s you're going to meet them quite soon obviously this is a general reading so obviously if you are younger than that or older than that it doesn't really matter but I'm really picking up on like those of you who are 20 years old 20 plus in the tw in the 20s you're going to meet your person very soon. This is a person you're going to meet and it's going to be very soon. For those of you who aren't, who are between those ages, who are over over like 20, 29 or under 20, I definitely feel like you're going to meet your person as well. I think it's going to be in a slightly different way. Um, for those of you who are away from that age, I feel like it's going to be more to do with like obviously education if you're younger. I feel, yeah, it, should, it just varies guys. So just take it as it resonates. I'm not going to like say to every single age what it is, but yeah, I'm picking up on uh, 20 years old. So it could be, they could like, could just be their age. It could be 20, could be like a significant number as well. Alrighty, I'm picking up on um, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, in New York, we have that Statue of Liberty. I'm picking on, up on that. And I think it might be because of this color, because I think she's that color. So um, yeah, I'm picking up on that as well. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. All right, let's see about this relationship. Okay, so we have the moon in the fourth house. So that would mean that this person's really connected to their home. They could work from home. We also have the 12th house in Sag. So this person's really determined to um, end their old life and start a new one. And they want they want to start with you. They want to, they, they're very determined, very, very sensual. They're somebody who is possibly deals with healing. So they could be a, a teacher, they could be a healer. Somebody who helps others to heal. Um, there's somebody who could be really into like the hidden realm. So like, things that are out of our realm. So like spirituality, tarot, they could really be into very sensual things as well. 12th house is very sensual. And I feel like for you guys with this person, they're just really determined. And there's somebody who um, may, may, may like aliens and things like that may really be connected to that sort of thing. All right, so what number should you guys be looking out for? Number two, duality, partnership, uh, balance, beautiful. Alrighty, so it could be a Sagittarius as well. Okay, so let's have a look at your person. Let's see what chakra you, let's have a look at you first. What chakra are you working on? Whoa, okay. That flew out so quickly. All right, all things work best in conjunction with all things. So this is chakra balance. So you guys are working on various different chakras. So this is probably gonna be a group that a lot of you guys are gonna pick. So 
uh, from the very let's get another chakra what well, uh, the chakra is group number four working on we had the sacral chakra fertility sensuality um deep emotions so what is your person working on what chakra is your person working on <laughs> wow beautiful root chakra safety i love that in the hurricane of life a strong foundation will keep you safe so this person's working on uh having that balance getting deeper and yeah love that and we also have sacral chakra for this person as well so both of you are very on a very similar journey i love that so the last card we have here is the heart chakra both of you are really going to be connected on a very deep level amazonite is the heart chakra as well so you guys are really focusing on your heart chakra compassion uh resolve your conflicts with compassion that's really really beautiful okay let's have a look into your dice let's see how you'll meet this person we have a console or a pub so it's going to be like a, a large kind of place possibly like even like a shopping center could be like a park that sort of thing uh when will you meet them one to three months so it's going to be varied for each of you but i feel like uh months beginning with j is very important or the letter j and we do have jade so j is very important for this group i don't know why uh so eye color green cute and hair color ginger so it may have like light brown hair or ginger hair blonde hair you know that kind of thing very just light hair so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and if you would like a private reading all my information is down below um, if you would like to purchase anything from my crystal shop all my information is down below and also the emotional fitness video will be linked down below thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye